Okay, folks, we're back out here at Kentucky Lake. Same place we were two years ago. Exact same spot, and we're going to try and catch some bull bluegill and also shell crackers, which is a red ear sunfish, really. But there's a variety of sunfish in here, and where we're casting is out along these weeds here. A little bit windy today. But we're going to give it a try anyway. This is where Alex caught that giant shell cracker right here. And, uh, with any luck, we should be able to catch some this evening. So we'll give it a try. I'll keep you posted. Well, we caught something here. Get your butt out. I don't know what's on the end of my line, but no, my dad. Oh, it's a long ear sunfish. I got mine real valid. What about my dad? My dad's good. Yeah, fish down See, look at the colors in that fish. That one, yeah. yeah. They're absolutely like gorgeous. Well, we're going to let him go. But that's the first sunfish of the day. We've only been here five minutes. If we get settled in here, maybe we'll catch some more. Yeah, I think I need more shallow. A little bit. No, yeah, a little more shallow. Because my thing is laying on the water. We're just using red wigglers right now, just red worms. That seemed to work but in the past. I have a good big I'm using a uh, Shimano scimitar graphite rod Ooh. with a Daiwa, let's see, what is this? Daiwa LT 2500. A little bit overkill for sunfish, but you never know what you're going to catch out here. Take it well. Yep, I got something on here too. Ah. Oh, that's a pretty bluegill. That's a pretty nice bluegill. Okay, you guys, that's the first time I got home. That's a real nice bluegill. That I couldn't get myself loose. Okay, well, we caught something else here. I was going to get a damn turtle for a second there. <laughs> no, it's a shell cracker. But it's a small one. It's a female. Female? But it is a shell cracker. Yeah. Let him back in there. <laughs> you let her back in there. Well, that was the first shell cracker that I actually caught this time. So. They're in here, and they're starting to move in, I think. I see those weeds starting to move. We've got part of your worm. Yeah, it's got part of your worm. They're biting now. Yep. Bait your own hook there. No, you ain't getting away. It ain't that hard. Stop trying to get away. We're filming Alex baiting his own hook here. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go through. He's curling around the hook. It didn't want to cooperate. Eventually. And that's a baited hook. Alright. Here, here. Oh, oh. here we go. It's not that smooth in real life. I just got a bite. Something, something's getting on mine. Darn it. I don't know what 
I got here. I lost him. Oh, it's a turtle. A turtle? I got a turtle here. Hey, man. I hate doing this. I hate getting turtles. Yeah. Just shake them off. I can't shake him off. Pliers and get him on hook. Got the turtle off. Okay, we got something on here. I don't know what it is for sure. Oh, good bluegill. Toss the boat in. Nice bluegill there. How is the worm still alive? See, you, got, you got him. Papa, can you bait my hook? Tighten your drag, Nancy. You... What do you got there? I want... Is that what you want me to do? You, Let's you got wrapped around that tree under us. He's on that limb right in front of you. Oh, oh. He's on there. Oh, that's... Oh. It's, it's, a, it's a bluegill. Oh, God. Stop splashing on me. It's over there. That's why I said the very first time I threw in right there, I got one. Just throw it. Aim. Look at where you want to throw it. And just glide it in there. Yep. Alright, good. Good cast. You ought to be able to catch one right there. Tree frogs are starting to sing. There we go. There's another one. Not a very big one, but it's another one. Oh, it's a long ear sunfish. Boy, that's a pretty one. Man, look how pretty that thing's colored. Still for a minute, I could show you all. Red eyes, orange and red breast, and uh, turquoise colors. Gorgeous fish. But we're gonna let him go. I got something on here. It's pretty good fish. Whatever it is, it's really pulling. Look at there! Holy cow! Get the net. Oh, oh my goodness. Now that is a trophy shell cracker. Oh my gosh. That is a giant. Take this. That's a real one. Well, folks, this is what we're after. This is a giant shell cracker. I just threw in over there and. That's a whopper. That's a nice one. That's what we're after right there. Don't let him get off. Well, he ain't gonna let him get off. You gotta be joking. Open that thing. That's probably the biggest shell cracker I ever caught. Whopper right there. That shows you they're in here. Where you? Where were you? Just right in front of the boat here, right by the weeds. That one. That one actually beats yours by a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mine, mine They're in there. Mine. You just got it's starting to calm down now. It's getting evening time and that was an Alabama. You know that fish he just barely hit that. It just went down a little bit and then I set the hook. I didn't know what I had on the other end there, but that's that's a giant. Yep. I'm telling you they're in here. I'll just keep fishing. Sooner or later you'll catch one. Sometimes in the evening, this can get really good because the water calms down, the wind has calmed down, and you see these weeds start to move, and that's where the fish are. So you want to cast right over towards the edge of the weeds. Just like that. 
some. That's a nice one. Hot dog. That is a big bluegill. Yeah, Holy just crap. The hook. That is a giant bluegill. <laughs> Look at that. Alex got him a good one here. That's a big bluegill. Man, that's a nice one. That's what it was. That's a whopper right there. Let me open it. That's like mine. I keep. It, it, they're not you. getting caught on it because it's not sharp enough. Hey, that is a giant bluegill. I don't know if I've ever caught one that big. Holy Toss them in. Close okay, it, close it. I need a little more water in there, really. That was a big one. And I still got bait. Yeah, but don't. Hey, you're wrapped around the end of your. Don't worry. I think once, once mine is sharpened, see You'll if you dunk it. I'll probably catch something. Yeah. Because that's what it is, is that they're not getting caught on that. I, I could right, do that. Lower like, it again. Like that on it. It wasn't doing nothing. Lower. Lower your rod, Nancy. You know what else was hard? Actually, no, it's, a, it's good. No, it was way down there. Got a good shot? That's a great shot. It wasn't up high. There you go. Up, up, up. You're already getting a bite. Watch it, watch it, watch it. That is a giant bluegill. You get Tennessee Angler's Award for that one. <laughs> hey. My first Tennessee Angler's Award? That's a Ooh. big bluegill. You don't catch them like that every day, my friend. A lot of times when you're out here fishing and you're missing fish, it's because your hooks are dull. So my wife I'm brought an emery board. Normally I have a, a hook sharpening stone. But uh, emery board does really well in getting your hooks just razor sharp, mm -hmm. and they practically before. hook themselves. Hey, Grandma, do you remember that like super? I mean, you want these hooks wicked sharp. I don't probably use that. Okay, okay. There, that's I'm gonna cast the best right back part. over here. That is the best part. This is the magic hour, my friends. This is when you catch. It. The good ones. Okay, we're back out here on Kentucky Lake at a different location. We've never fished here before, but we've already caught a few small bluegill, medium sized bluegill. Uh, we came back here in this cove to get out of the wind because it's really windy out there on the main part of the lake. But uh, we're going to move on back here after a while as the wind calms down. Well, we've caught some fish here and there in different locations, but we wanted to come back over here to this favorite spot of ours. Hi. <laughs> and as soon as we did, we started catching some bluegill. But uh, we want them just a little bit bigger than that. I mean, that's okay. It's almost hand size, but you know, a little bit bigger than that. And then they're worth keeping. Right now we're waiting for the wind to kind of die down and uh, for conditions to get a little calmer on the water. And uh, usually that'll happen right before evening time. And, uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted on how we do. By the way, I never showed you our secret weapon. These are red worms and that's what we're using to catch these fish. Now these came right out of my yard. But that's what we catch these big bluegill and shell crackers with. You got something on there? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a big boy. That's a good one. Get it over here. That's a nice shell cracker right there. So Alex caught the big one of the day. That's a whopper. <laughs> That's a good shell cracker. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Alex got another big shell cracker. That's a good one there. That's a nice one. That's a whopper. Sure would like a whopper right now. Too bad we didn't get the catch on the camera. <laughs> That's a pretty shell cracker right there. All right, open that up, Alex. I got a fish bite. You need to make this thing easier to open. Yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. What, I got a bite? You got a bite right here. <laughs> right here by the boat. Right there is where we're fishing, right in front of the boat there. Do a little wiggle. A wiggle. Just a tiny wiggle. And that's how you get them. I don't know if there's something on there, I think. Mm -hmm. Something pecking on it. Yep. They just never learn their lesson, do they? Papa, I it's think you small, got the biggest one. That's a small shell cracker right there. Yeah, got what you got there? This was a fighter. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a big bull bluegill right there. Wow, that's perfect eating size. Look at that. <laughs> he, won't, he won't hold still. All right, good catch. I'm catching the good ones today. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Good, good bluegill. Is he a keeper? Yeah. Well, folks, we've had a great time out here on Kentucky Lake this Memorial Day weekend. I hope you enjoyed the time that we spent together because I wanted to bring you with me and, uh, and share some of the fish that we were catching. But we're getting ready to head back because it's starting to get dark and we're getting quite hungry. So anyway, with that being said, remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever it may be, I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And also remember, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this will be coming your way. So until next time, y'all get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. We'll see you.